Have you ever wondered why we often make irrational decisions when it comes to money? The answer lies in the fascinating realm of the psychology of money. This isn't just about numbers and calculations, it's about emotions, perceptions, and the mental shortcuts we all take. Think about the last time you made a quick decision about a purchase. Was it a bargain too good to pass up? Or perhaps the fear of missing out nudged you to click that buy now button. These are examples of our mind playing tricks on us, driving us to act in ways that may not always be in our best financial interest. We'll delve into concepts like anchoring bias, where the first piece of information we receive heavily influences our decision making. We'll also explore instant gratification, our desire for immediate reward and loss aversion, our tendency to prefer avoiding losses over acquiring equivalent gains. Understanding the psychology of money can help us make better financial decisions, and that's where we're headed in this journey. So, let's dive in. Consider this. When shopping, have you ever bought something because it seemed like a great deal compared to the original price? This is an example of a psychological phenomenon called anchoring bias. It's the tendency we have to rely too heavily on the first piece of information we receive, the anchor. In the world of money, anchoring bias can significantly affect our financial decisions. Let's say a store advertises a product originally priced at $100, now on sale for $50. The initial price here is the anchor, making $50 seem like an absolute steal. We're more likely to buy not necessarily because we need the product, but because we think we're getting a bargain. Retailers know this and often use anchoring bias to make their products seem more appealing. They set high original prices to make sale prices seem more attractive. Anchoring bias is powerful, but being aware of it can help us make more rational money decisions. Do you find it hard to save for the future when you could spend that money today? It's a common struggle, isn't it? And it's rooted in the pull of two powerful psychological forces, instant gratification and loss aversion. Instant gratification, that irresistible urge to experience pleasure or fulfillment without delay, often leads us to make impulsive purchases. We see something we want, and we want it now. The future feels so far away, and the pleasure of the present moment is tantalizingly within reach. On the flip side, there's loss aversion. This is our innate fear of losing what we have, a force so potent that it often prevents us from taking necessary risks. The thought of losing your hard-earned money can be enough to make you hold back, even when the potential rewards far outweigh the risks. By recognizing these psychological traps, we can start to make smarter money decisions.